Hey guys, Shubhraj here and I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about this new guitar that I bought. It's a very budget and very very cheap Strat style guitar. Um, I just like took it out of the box maybe half an hour ago or like 40 minutes ago. So it's completely in stock form. Um, there is a little bit of a story to this uh, which I will um, talk about in a little bit. But firstly about the guitar, so this is a Magna, that's what's written here, as you can see, it comes with a wooden thing, uh, instead of like a, a paper thing or whatever is like hanging from the tuning pegs when you buy a new guitar. Uh, regardless, um, so this is the Magna Strat V20, if I'm not mistaken, it's basically their absolute budget range um, Strat and um, i mainly wanted to buy one of these to just you know have as like a project guitar which i would just modify over the next few years maybe or just like you know have as like a secondary guitar because i was just looking for a very cheap guitar which i can just pretty much take anywhere and i don't have to really care about it too much because my fender strat is my main guitar and that means a lot to me so i wanted to get something that uh, that won't really mean that much to me uh, so I ended up buying one of these now initially I had actually bought one which was Lake Placid Blue that was the name of the color and that came to me and it had a bit of a, a, a little issue with the truss rod so that's why I had sent it back and they replaced it with this particular one this is the cherry burst or something like that I think it's just cherry red or something like that so it's got like a very, very subtle burst to it, if you can see that. It's 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 a pretty nice paint job, I must say. Like for a guitar that cost me exactly 11,800 rupees, it's really a very, very well made guitar. The neck actually feels really good uh, because, uh, so yeah, check it out. It's not just like some random neck, you know. It's not at all a very random kind of um, unfinished neck. There is some kind of a uh, finish and it's a very, very smooth finish, which is really nice to touch, you know. The fretwork is phenomenal for a price uh, like this. For 11,800 rupees, I've never ever in my life seen a guitar that actually has such good fretwork. Yeah, just look at that. So, if you can see that, yeah, really good fretwork. Even though you know, the fretboard is also fairly good, I'm not too sure about exactly what material the fretboard and the neck etc are. Uh, but let me let me just quickly look for that. There you go. Okay, so it didn't act, it didn't cost me eleven thousand eight hundred. It cost me eleven thousand seven hundred. Um, let's see. So the top is basswood. So are the back and sides. So basically, I guess the whole body is probably made of one piece of wood, which is pretty nice. It, from the looks of it, at least, it does not seem like the two pieces but then i can't really see that either because the burst is sort of covering that up but either way the top and the back as well as the sides are all basswood the neck is a bolt-on maple as you can see the bolt-on right here the fingerboard is rose rosacker i guess that's how they pronounce it rosacker right um the pig guard is a white color one neck profile is modern C it does um, it doesn't feel very similar to my Fender Strat the Mexican one that I use all the time uh, but it is a very comfortable shape nonetheless hardware is chrome the fretboard radius is 350 mm inlays are dot inlays and shape is a Stratocaster shape tuning machines these are your die cast tuning machines also if you notice um, they're not lined up very well 
but uh, again like at a guitar at this price point it's not something which is a deal breaker for me honestly because um when i was using the tuners they do seem to work fairly well so yeah as long as they're working fine it's fine for me okay next we have 22 frets uh it doesn't say what size of frets these are but um these are definitely not medium jumbos not at all these are much thinner frets like really really thin frets the scale length is 648 mm whatever you you can just like try and convert that into <laughs> whatever um, measurement you want to nut width this is one 42 mm truss rod is a double action truss rod the varnish is a glossy finish and then your strings the factory install which is what these are these are 9 to 42 it doesn't say exactly what brand of strings these are though then we have a 12 mm padded bag which it did come with in fact i have it right here this is what the bag looks like and um, honestly man like for a, again for an 11700 rupees guitar This is actually a pretty decent gig bag. It's better than a lot of the gig bags that you get in the market, just like that. That's what the gig bag looks like inside. It's got a little thing at the bottom to protect itself from the um, the strap button. That's the top part. Okay. Then you have. one pocket here which is fairly roomy these are and then you have another pocket at the bottom so nothing too fancy but again a um, nice little stitching going on over here these handles are also they feel fairly nice the back straps feel fairly nice even this thing feels fairly nice so no so no complaints at all now back to the guitar again okay yeah that's a noisy thing so um yeah what else yeah electronics so we have one humbucker two single coil pickups with one volume knob tone knob a uh, two tone knobs and a five way toggle switch and a synchronized tremolo I don't know about synchronized tremolo and all of that. Um, to be very honest, it's not a tremolo system that I would honestly even set up or want to use. Um, I'm used to using a Goto 510 bridge, which is the same ones that you get on Sir guitars and like a lot of the Charvels that are coming out, the DK 24s, etc. Even the the Ibanez AZ. So that is like one of the top of the line bridges that you get in the market. So. I'm used to a really good bridge so after that when I try using this bridge obviously it does not cut it for me at all. Um the knobs feel pretty decent. Pickup selector feels pretty decent. Um fit and finish feels pretty decent. Now the plane, the feel of the neck is really good. <laughs> and uh, i'm just like plug straight into my cord cm15r this is in the overdrive model um the eq is all 12 o'clock the gain is like a little higher than 12 o'clock about like 2 o'clock or something like that and the reverb is like around 10 o'clock so you just heard the neck pick up <laughs> This is the neck and the middle. This is the middle. Middle and the outer coil I'm guessing. Thank <laughs> you. 
sounds like with some overdrive now with some clean again starting with the neck oh okay what happened there there you go cool um whatever that was um here's some cleans As far as the pickups are concerned, it is not at all the best set of pickups that I have ever played. You know, um, uh, I don't know if you can hear, it, but these are extremely noisy. Uh, having said that, the tone knobs and the volume knobs they work pretty well. Like if I bring it back to the overdrive and I fiddle around with the gain of the volume, yo. <laughs> Pretty smooth, even the tone knobs work fine. Let me try a different one here. Tone knob. Well, I guess the tone knobs are probably not connected to the bridge pickup. Let me try the middle pickup maybe. Yeah, the tone knob works fine here. Cool. Um, but yeah, um, definitely the pickups would be something I'm gonna change for sure. Um, let's talk about a few things about this guitar which um, are probably a bit um, off. For example, oh god, this is a very nice thing. Here. So, if you try to see the space, right? you see the alignment, there is more fretboard on this side. So, the neck is not very well aligned. And I have a feeling that is the single uh, greatest reason as to why whenever I try to bend a whole note. Usually when I like come till here, you know, you can hear. So I have to bend a little extra and I feel like that's creating a little bit more tension here which might end up breaking the strings also uh, but again like half step bends are fine see again it's not really going it's like almost there um 
apart from that like i said the alignment of these tuning pegs uh, it's not a deal breaker for me but yeah it is not aligned it may or may not cause tuning issues as of now for me at least after all this playing no it does not seem to be causing any tuning issues yeah so now even if i try playing some jazz in here So it's a pretty nice sounding guitar by itself just like extremely noisy set of pickups um weird alignments however the guitar does feel very very nice to play period i have not played a single guitar till date at this price range which it it plays this good right off the box like and honestly okay look at that action look at that setup you see that see that setup which brand on this planet is going to give you an action which is that low straight out of the box the neck oh, let me just check the bow the bow is amazing it's it's really good the setup is i would say flawless when whoever is just taking this guitar out of the box whether it's a beginner an intermediate player an advanced player whatever um they're going to be very comfortable with it right these frets you are probably going to have to change not too long from the time you buy it um unless you just don't play enough which you should be doing you should always play uh but uh, yeah having said that yeah like for a guy like me who plays pretty much every day i'll probably need to refret it maybe in another 2 3 years maybe even lesser just because of the size of the frets because these are definitely not stainless steel frets they're probably your typical nickel frets and they don't last as long uh but yeah of course that doesn't mean that has very little to do with tone and everything even this nut is probably a plastic nut honestly speaking there's like a huge debate about bone nuts plastic nuts etc it only makes a different when it uh, difference when it comes to your like the string uh, being played as an open string plastic does not sustain as much as a bone does or like a camel bone nut or maybe a metal nut something like a brass nut or something like that having said that it does it really to me at least it really doesn't make that much of a difference whether it's sustaining a lot the sustain that i'm getting from this is more than enough for me um so yeah unless you're like too picky about it it really shouldn't make any difference the electronics as in like the pots the switch seem pretty decent for the price they don't seem like they're going to break on you any time soon at least um so yeah overall i must say that this is a really really good instrument for the price and uh, the uh, i think one thing i forgot is the paint job this is a really really good paint job period man I mean, it's it's a really good paint job no no complaints at all no complaints about the paint job no complaints about the way the neck feels no complaints about the way the fretboard feels i mean if you notice that here yeah. 
no dead spots no dead spot no dead spot no dead spot again nothing that's crazy i mean <laughs> not crazy it's just like a good job but then um yeah um at this price range i don't think i've seen a single guitar that has such good fret work because usually at least one or two of the frets are a little um un like not, not sanded very well which is why you often get like buzzing unnecessary buzzing so even if you adjust your truss rod you adjust your saddle you still get buzzing so that's because of some frets which are not leveled here all the frets seem to be leveled because if they were not leveled at this action this low action you would be getting quite a bit of buzzing from different parts of the fretboard but you're not getting that so clearly a very good job done i mean magna stridum good job and i like this little touch as well this little touch where rather than giving a card made are made out of paper they're actually giving you one which is made out of wood ply mdf something like that and of course this this gig bag this is great overall i think it's a really good deal at least the model that i have got here is pretty decent for the price nothing i can complain too much about at all so yeah um I guess I'll do a little bit of playing to end the video and <laughs> that'll be it for today. If you want to take private lessons with me, my details are below in the description. I teach composition, improvisation and the guitar as a solo instrument. So, if you really want to, you know, know the details and um, the depths of improvisation, composition, music theory, etc. I'm all game. Hit me up and i'll give you all the details for my lessons if this video was helpful for you please consider subscribing to my channel and like and share this video with anyone and everyone you know as much as you can because you know the more you share the more people i can reach the more people i can help and oh uh, yeah the channel can grow as well so yeah now some playing let's say i want to do some mixolydian jam of some sort Thank <laughs> you.